Peyton cannot tease what's ahead. Because <laughs> you you going to give it away? I tried. I did my best. When I had read the script, you know, me and my son have a great relationship. So when I saw it, I was like, wow, this is a cool way to be like a father figure to the student athletes, to trying to, to keep them on the right path, to keep, you know, where they can be held accountable. Because like I said, it's not all about the flash and making all the money and going pro. It's about integrity, values, morals, that they can keep something to instill in themselves to be great men and go out in the world where they can have the um, the tools to do that. I think there is this this sense of responsibility, you know, and I, I do feel responsible for my babies and sometimes Coach Marcus, because, <laughs> um, but it's, it's a great responsibility and I'm honored to kind of play that role both on and offset. And everything I do, I do it to be the best daddy. Fear is never the problem. We all fear. It's what we do with that fear that matters. I haven't decided if I'm gonna transfer yet. I thought we were building something real here. You have 48 hours to decide if you're leaving. TikTok, son. Balance is what Cam is trying to do the entire season, right? So in later episodes, we kind of see some of the things that he was juggling come to a resolve. And I think that's good for him, you know? He's off balance this entire season, and he's trying to figure out a way to find his fleet. One of the challenges that Amara has faced from going from professor to president of Brinkston, the family dinners mm -hmm. could no longer happen um, because one student was feeling like there was favoritism and that the students that were a part of family dinners had unfair access. And so um, those dinners meant a lot to her and meant a lot to the kids. And so that was one of the biggest challenges that Amara had to face that I can no longer do this in good conscience, this very good thing, mm -hmm. but as the president, I have to think more than just about these particular students. I have to think about the entire student body. So that was really challenging for her. I'm scared to, to start talking because I don't want to say what's in store. <laughs> right, 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 but it's a lot in store for JR. <laughs> you want me to say it? No, no. sir. We're at HBCU. I refuse to have a team that's less than the best. I don't think my coaches think I'm good enough. What do you think? You will never beat me, and you'll never beat me. You want to be humiliated? Let's go. My first sport that I got into was actually baseball, you know, when I was younger. And then when I got like a teenager, I just segued to basketball. So when I saw that this sports dynamic was added into this show, HBCU, African-American, black culture, college life, I said, wow, this is new. And if it's told right, you know, we can make something really impactful for the culture. And that's what we're doing. So um, hopefully we can show this show for many years to come. We don't get to see a lot of African-Americans in those lights and so I thought that that was cool and so I started doing research and like we I think make up like it's a crazy number uh, percentage in the NFL crazy number mm -hmm. percentage in the NBA but I think we make up like six percent of uh, the MLB and I just think the show is important because you know like they'll in the inner cities they'll build a lot of football fields and basketball courts but there's not a lot of baseball fields being built in inner cities and so I hope that like with this show being on the platform that it is dealing with uh, black culture hip-hop culture yeah. and something that's cool and, and showing these kids like that this sport is cool and it is fun and that we can play it because I remember being discouraged younger playing baseball and I was like oh like this isn't you know a, a black sport an african-american sport and and I didn't know anything about it like, even when I went to games I was like bored until I started to learn about it and so I worked with a, a coach uh, because I was horrible during the pilot I was terrified because I was I was out there with real real athletes some people who got drafted and I'm out there telling him them I'm the best player in the nation and so I was like, I got to do something about this before we come back. And so I worked with uh, uh, Sylvester and I worked with uh, the Braves uh, pitching scout. Go and Braves. so I, I didn't go that far, but go uh, Phillies. <laughs> but we, we worked with them because it was important because I know that some of my friends who are in the MLB and stuff will be watching that and like, we don't throw like that or we don't do like that so it was important and so i didn't know anything at first but like it was important for me to 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 go out and uh, and at least try
So if it all fails, like if I retire from acting, like I just plan on going to the MLB. Oh. I love tennis. Always love tennis. Um, I love baseball as well. But you can play tennis. I can't play any of these sports. Uh, Not a thing. No. Can watch <laughs> I, was like, what you I can watch them and I love them. Great but I think watching. what's dope about our show is that one of the large components is representation, right? From being the first all-black cast of an original series for CW to representing HBCU life. We also now have the representation of blacks in sports that you don't typically see them in. And I think it's cool that maybe we didn't grow up playing these sports, but more kids like us will because they see us doing it. I played every sport that you can possibly think of besides <laughs> soccer and rugby. Huh. Uh, so I love the fact that I came around and was able to play baseball on TV. And ain't nobody's number two. We we'll sit back and enjoy this, huh? And we can't let anyone or anything get in our way. Reggie Bush, Reggie Bush. Mm -hmm. you know, he was the best college football player, I think, in the history of the sport, you know, he was able to be on our show, so that was a highlight for us, and he was so cool down to earth, he loved what we are doing, so that was great. Amazing. It was amazing yeah. to see him, because he wasn't, he wasn't like super tall or super big, and I was <laughs> like, how are you doing that out there? I was like, that was, that was God, he like, like crazy athlete, uh, but a dream one on the show. Let's bring Serena oh, oh my and, God. Venus. and Venus. Bring, bring that whole powerful. How about yeah, King, Naomi, How about King Griffey Naomi? Jr.? King Griffey Jr. Be, would be crazy. I'm going King That'd be great. I'm going Frank Thomas. Uh, and I'm going Robert Acuna Jr. I made my decision. I want to know your eyes when it comes to the best. All American Homecoming. We do have special guest stars. Can't say who, but we have some pe interesting people coming in. Uh, that we get to uh, play with in the, uh, in the season and in the episodes. It's gonna be a lot of drama. There's a lot of drama. Yeah. We see the end of the journey for Cam and Simone as far as their pledging to be a part of the fraternities and the sororities. So we see how that comes to a grand finale, and it is grand. It is grand. It's grand. It's grand. Mm -hmm. Yes.